All right. Welcome all grade nine students to this year 18th reach back of the quarantine period. Um, this week we're going to do true false questions and I'm not going to give you that many. I think we only gave you seven questions this week. So it's not going to totally overwhelm you with the weather being the way it is, but it is going to help you remember the things you should be able to do. Even though they're true false questions, make sure you show all your work, take a picture of your work, send it to your teacher, send a little note with your work this time. Just say hello. Tell your teacher what you're doing, something like that. Uh, I'm sure they'd love to hear from you. Um, as always, you can download a PDF version of this copy if you go to tinyurl.com backslash reachback uh, 18TF, and you can get a PDF version of it. Here we go with the questions. Question number one says 4 and 1 fifth take away 5 and 1 tenth is greater than negative 1. Is that a true or false statement? Question number two, 2.4, 2 take away 4.65 is less than negative 2. Is that true or false? <clears throat> Question three, the square root of 11 and 1 ninth is equal to 3 and 1 third. If you need a hint, make sure that you don't try to find the square root of 11 and 1 ninth as a mixed fraction, but rather as an improper fraction. Question four. In the equation, the equation for this graph is 5x equals y. If I were you, I'd make a table of values and then use your equation skills from that table of values to determine what it is. Question 5 is your inequality. Negative 2x minus 5 is greater than or equal to negative 7. Uh, is that the graph that would show that solution? Remember, closed boundary points um, and open boundary points have different things. There is a trick, by the way, too, here, so don't get fooled. Question 6, 5x minus 5 is equal to 2x minus 20. In this equation, if you solve it, the value of x will be negative. Is that true or false? And finally, question 7, x plus 1 over 5, or a fifth of x plus 1, minus a half is equal to 4. If you solve that equation or isolate for x, the value of x will be greater than 20. Is that true or false? All right, good luck to everybody. Thank you so much for continuing to try here during the month of June. I know the weather's awesome, uh, and it's really easy to check out mentally, but uh, your perseverance is appreciated, and it will pay off dividends next year when you go to grade 10 because you will be that much stronger than if you didn't do any math at all. So thank you very much. Maintain good social distancing. Wash your hands. And as always, even though you're isolated a lot with your parents, don't let those boomer parents of yours drive you crazy.